Again, thank you for joining us here at Complete in Christ. We want to continue walking through the book of Philippians. Uh, last time gave you just a little bit of an introduction to the book, and we talked about how that Paul says, I'm thankful for your participation in the gospel and the importance of participating in advancing the gospel of Jesus. I want to read you just a couple of verses out of chapter 1, but I'm going to start back with verse 3 where Paul says, I thank my God in all my remembrance of you. Listen to what he says in verse 4, always offering prayer with joy in my every prayer for you all in view of your participation in the gospel from the first day to now. Verse 6, for I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of of Christ Jesus. You know, I shared with you that uh, I believe the theme of the book is, is that if Christ is my life, and last time we talked about being thankful, you know, if Christ is my life, I'll also be prayerful. You know, Paul says here that I pray for you, always praying for you, and he says it brings me great joy to pray for you. You see, if Christ is my life, I will I will engage with him and I will connect with him in prayer. And I will pray for those people that God has placed in my life. Paul says, look, I thank you for your participation in the gospel, but I want you to know I've been praying for you and I count it great joy to pray for you. Paul was very, very consistent in his praying for the church at Philippi. He was very consistent in petitioning the Lord on their, their behalf. He uses the word always praying for you. Man, that really challenges my heart. I know in being consistent in praying for people that have partnered with us in the gospel, being consistent in praying for our other people, you know, that really, really challenged me. What about you? How consistent are you in petitioning the Lord on behalf of others and counting in a great joy to, to do it? Paul says, it brings me great joy to pray. For you. You know, as I think about prayer and I think about this communication with God that we have the privilege to do through the provision of Jesus, I, I often think about that sometimes we forget that it's a conversation, that we do most of the talking instead of instead of listening to what God has to say to us. And I want to encourage you to have a conversation with God, not just do all the talking, but listen to what God wants to speak to you. And the most prevalent way he speaks is through his word, and he never speaks in opposition to his word. You see, as a follower of Jesus, if Christ is my life, I will be prayerful. I'll understand that prayer is an awesome, awesome privilege, but I'll also begin to understand the power of the one that we pray to. He's the one that can do exceedingly abundantly more than we ever dreamed or imagined. So I encourage you, be a prayer. You know, engage God in prayer. Be in conversation with God through prayer. Pray for those people that God places upon your heart that he's put in your life. So if Christ is my life, I will be thankful if Christ is my life. I will be prayerful. And the next thing I'd like to share with you is if, if Christ is my life, I'll be confident. You see, if Jesus is really Lord of my life, if Jesus is being Jesus in and through me, I will not have confidence in myself, but I have confidence in my God. I have confidence in the one that lives inside of me. You see, Paul says, says here in verse 6 that I am confident of this very thing, that he who began this good work will bring it to completion. See, it was God that started all this. It was God that drew me unto himself. It was God that pursued me. I did not pursue him. It was God that pursued you. It was God that drew you unto himself. It was God that showed me my need for salvation. It was God that showed you your need for salvation. You see, I didn't even know I was lost. I was, I was a pretty good guy. I remember that day like it was yesterday. And it's 45 plus years ago when God began really working in my heart and revealing to me that I was lost, that I was in need of a Savior. And someone explained to me the gospel. Someone explained to me the power of God and to salvation. And I, and I became a believer that night. But God initiated the whole thing. It was God who started. And I can be confident that the same God that began to work in me will bring it to completion. God is at work in me, molding me, and making me to be more like Jesus. 
Jesus than I ever thought possible. He, he brings people into my life, and I'm so thankful for the people that God's placed in my life to teach me, to mold me, to make me, to hold me accountable. I'm thankful for the power of the Word of God to mold me and to make me and to radically transform my life. I'm thankful for the circumstances that God has placed in my life, some that have been extremely difficult that God has used to mold me and to make me into the person that I am. You know, God is constantly at work. He was at work drawing us into himself. He's at work now. If you're a believer, God is working in your life to mold you and to make you, to transform your life, to make you more and more like Jesus. He uses his word. He uses people. He uses circumstances. He uses his church to mold us and to make us. And I can be assured that the same God that started this work in me will bring it to completion until either he calls me home or until Jesus comes again. You know, so what is, what's my responsibility in all this? If God is at work, what's my responsibility? My responsibility is to cooperate with him. My responsibility is to allow God to do what he desires to do in and through my life. I just need to simply place myself under his lordship, place myself under his authority, and allow him, cooperate with him when he desires to make change. Cooperate with him when he begins to transform my life. Cooperate with him when he speaks truth into my life. Cooperate with him in the circumstances of life. But God can assure you, God is at work and he will continue to work in you and continue to work in me until the day of completion. Thank you again for joining us. I hope you have a blessed day. And remember, let Jesus be Jesus in you. <music>